These videos are brought to you by MSCCasino.com and the Maco Sporting Club. MSCCasino.com, check it out. You are watching Sports Matters. Okay guys, Sports Matters TV and we are just days away from yet again another All-Ireland final uh, yet again Cork being the most successful team of all time when it comes to All-Irelands The lady next to me knows all about All-Ireland finals uh, You've been in so many first of all but listen, how has preparation got ahead of uh, the big one? Yeah, look, it, it's been a really enjoyable um, it's been a really enjoyable two weeks coming into this All-Ireland and um, you know, you have to relish the, this, these times um, they don't come around that often, you know and um they are special times, so you have to enjoy them to a certain degree, um, but also obviously focus on the task ahead. And look, you've been in so many Cork teams throughout the years. I think it's 13 maybe, is it? It's, it's, it's a long time. Yeah, 13, this is my 13th season. So, um, yeah, I've been very lucky um, to be involved in some great teams um, and some great players throughout the years, you know. Um, no different than this group that's going out on Sunday. Um, really, really special group with so much talent and so many young girls coming along, you know. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. And the game has changed quite a bit over the years. Look, it's obviously such a more competitive game. I said it wasn't 13 years ago, but it's, it's, it keeps you on your toes, but you're still equipped for it and you're still good to go. Yeah, um, it definitely has changed throughout the years. Um, we definitely do much more analysis, you know, video analysis included. Um, S and C is massive now in the game, you know. And if if you're not fit and capable of taking those tackles and stuff, you know, you've no business really on the pitch. Um, but yeah, the speed of the game and everything has certainly certainly increased over the past few years. But um, luckily, so far, so good um, for myself. But um, yeah, just really enjoying it. And speaking of opposition, look, a team you know quite well. They're obviously, they're, they're, we won't say looking for revenge, but look, they're, they're, God, we are a great team, first of all. But look, you know what's ahead, and you're looking forward to that big day. Yeah, look, I think we bring out the best in Galway, and Galway usually bring out the best in us, you know. So it should be a really good game for a neutral. Um, but yeah, look, we have to focus on ourselves as well at the same time, you know, and, and keep driving our own standards and hitting our own targets. And, and we always say if we do hit those targets and standards, you know, we should come out on the right side of it. Um, but we still have to go out and do that, you know. So I'm sure Galway ha will have done plenty of analysis on us as well, you know, like we have done for them. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to the game and, and um, getting that ball thrown in. Definitely. And look, the fans obviously mean the world to the Cork team. We're looking at the, the attendances over the years. They started off like 4,000. Now we're having 30 plus thousand. Rumoured to be maybe 40,000 and probably 90% Corkonians. But listen, the fans mean the world to you, don't they? Absolutely. You know, um, every time that you go out, you know, a little shout from a player or maybe a cheer from the stand is always going to give you that extra bit of energy, you know. So um, Cork have always been super to support, you know, in any sport, you know. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we have a big Cork support, especially with the intermediates playing before us as well, you know. Um, it'll be great um, if the if Crow Park was mainly red there on Sunday. Definitely. And last of all, look, you know what it's like to taste all out success. What is it actually like? you know you, you've you've had so many big moments but what is it like I think when that final whistle goes um my most recent one was obviously last year you know and and the sigh of relief I guess is is probably a huge one um and then just joy um I think like you put so much into the sport um and like I have done for so many years and it kind of becomes your life um you know Everything in your day revolves around camogie, really. You, you, the time you're going to bed at night to the time you're getting up in the morning, your lunches for work, what time you're going to get to the gym, how you're going to get your rehab done and stuff, you know. So when you put so much into something um, and you get rewarded for it, um, there is so much joy that comes with that. So hopefully we feel that again on Sunday. And it's because of you and others that we have a day like today. Yeah, absolutely. No, this is fantastic, you know, and to give these young girls the chance because I guess all these young girls here tonight and um, are going to be the future of Corkamogi. So you have to give them the time as well. And, and it's just great to see so many girls here. And hopefully if this crowd is half of what is going to be there in Crow Park, um, well, then we'll be doing really well. It's an honour as always. We're looking forward to the All-Iron Foil up the Rebels. Thanks a million. Cheers.